Good afternoon and welcome to the next episode of my photography vlog and today you join me on the Wild Atlantic Way. It is a place I'm close to here called Kilkey and as you can see behind me here there is some um, beautiful headlands along the coast and right on the Atlantic so on the western point of Ireland. It's extremely windy here today um, and it's quite cold so I have my uh, cup of tea I'm going to uh, finish drinking that and um, I'm going to do uh, an episode today whereby I am going to shoot in black and white. The ideas come from the group I would have mentioned in the previous episode, Landscape um, Photographers on YouTube, and one of the challenges there is to shoot in black and white. So from this point on, right now, this entire vlog will be shot in black and white. here uh, that I want to shoot is going up the headland and one of the advantages now because I'm going to be shooting in black and white um, is I can really try and look for contrast in the scene and it's during the day and um, the sun is um, behind the camera here so shooting this way so I'm shooting with the sun so I'm not having to contend with any uh, highlights but it's also going to be able to light up the darkness that we see on the um, headland rocks or the cliff rocks and such like that. There's also a lovely little stack um, that's in front of me and some nice waves as well are breaking over that so I'm going to take a couple of shots here to try and get the vastness and some different colours and contrasting light on the, um, uh, the, the hills that are in the distance there as well um, and another thing you can look at here it is quite windy and a very good bit of advice that I recently saw on uh, YouTube and it's something I would have done myself as well but when it's windy with your tripod spread it so spread it as wide as you can possibly go because I've seen many people over the years with um, tripods that they're just putting out the legs as the ordinary would. It's not enough for it to be able to withstand the breeze that's there. There's a breeze now blowing this way towards me um, so it could very easily topple the tripod over. And plus when you are positioning your legs as well, um, position one leg in the complete opposite direction to the wind so that there is no way that the camera can tip over that way. So um, I'm going to just talk you through here with the shot that I'm taking. So at the moment I have my uh, 16 to 35 on and I am focusing or um, framing the shot so that you can see this headland that's over here is going to come from the right hand side and going to work its way out. We're going to see the headlands right in the distance and then I also have an anchor point on the left hand side here as well um, for uh, the, the, cliff that are the, yeah, the cliff that I'm on at the moment. With that shot at the moment I'm on um, F10, I'm getting 15 seconds, I've got the Lee Big Stopper on as well to allow me to get that long exposure and I'm focusing as I always would would be a third into the scene so I'm going to um, play around here take a couple of shots and, and then I'm going to change lens as well in a moment and I'm going to put on the long lens and I'm going to try and take a shot of that stack that you see here and also trying to get some of the details because the water is really nice the way it breaks over the rocks that are below me here so yeah I'll uh, check in again in a moment and uh, we'll see where we go from there
I've changed uh, lens there now to the long lens and what I'm doing is looking at this one stack here in front of me and something I've noticed is it is extremely windy like I said earlier on and even though the tripod here is quite sturdy and quite secure because I've got the long lens on there there is movement on the far end but the wind that's catching because there's more obviously uh, mass for the, um, uh, the wind to uh, force against. So um, what I have to do here when I'm taking the shot is actually become a human shield. So um, when I take the shot here, I've got it on a two second timer. And now I'm having just to stand here for five seconds is what the exposure time that I'm doing and hoping that I'm not going to get any, um, in, in the sh any distraction in the shot. And that hopefully will be able to keep this uh, steady because it is extremely windy. They don't call it the wild Atlantic way for nothing. Right, so um, I've set up here now on the last spot that I'm going to be for uh, this episode of my uh, photography vlog. And as you can probably see there on the right hand side of the frame, there is um, this stack. And it, obviously at one point it was part of the mainland, obviously because it's close to the mainland. But on the very top of it there, you can see uh, what remains of an old house. So there was somebody living in a settlement here. And there's a big vast area now, that obviously, that has come um, from erosion over it. I don't know how many hundreds of years, but um, obviously somebody was living there at some point, so it's not going to have been um, in prehistoric times, let's just say. And what I'm trying to do here now is, because again, I'm shooting in black and white, it really forces me to think differently in regards to the scene. So um, with the stack that's below, you've got waves that are coming in all around it. So that's gonna give some nice white versus the uh, darkness of the, um, the rock. And the sun is coming then to the left hand side, so it's lighting it from the side. So on one side it's going to be quite bright, and on the other side it's going to be quite dark. So when I'm using that then from a black and white image, um, what that will should give me is some nice contrast uh, between the left hand side and the right hand side. And where I'm actually framing it then inside in the shot is, um, I'm taking the horizon, I'm going to put the horizon on a couple of different areas I think. I'm going to probably go with it on the halfway point. I'm also going to go with the horizon on the top level of the, the third to be able to give more of, of a, um, a view to the, to the water that's flowing underneath. Because it's so windy as well here, as you can see, I'm sitting down because, you know, if I'm standing up, I'm right next to the cliff edge and unfortunately the wind is actually blowing out. So there is a potential, small, small, small potential of uh, danger. So what I'm going to try and do um, with that is play around, like I say, um, with the exposure times and go quite long so that I can get some movement as well of the clouds. So that should give a bit of uh, drama as well to the sky. And uh, it's very interesting um, challenge to do and I'd recommend doing it actually because you have to be seeing things in a different way when you're shooting in black and white and it should um, I suppose advance your photography skills then as well because you're thinking differently than you ordinarily would. So um, from the Wild Atlantic Way on a very blustery and windy day I hope that this microphone has worked when I was in the other area over here because now I'm shielding myself from the wind but I was directly facing the wind in the last time but um, from the Wild Atlantic Way thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of my photography vlog. Um, as always, if you do like the content, please do hit that like button. And if you're first time visiting the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, and I look forward to seeing you now on the next episode. And again, once again, thanks very much for tuning in.